Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you something I've been trying to do for two years, which is control a PTZ optics camera remotely from anywhere in the world using either YouTube chat, Facebook chat, or Twitter. That's right. We can have our camera totally local to our network, so not available to the outside world, and control it using YouTube chat, using anything that's chatted into YouTube, Facebook chat, or Twitter hashtags to control the PTZ Optics camera. Very secure way to allow people from all over the world to tour your trade show booth, to look around your studio, to uh, see your store and all the things that you have to offer. So let me show you this. This is actually done on a Mac Mini. That's right, we're using a Mac Mini today and we're using Mimo Live. So let me show you how to set this up. It's such a cool thing. And you can actually play with our PTZ Optics camera on our YouTube or Facebook channel when this is live. Here I am in front of Mimo Live, and I'm going to show you how to set this up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add this PTZ Optics controller. Um, well, actually, the first thing we'll do is make sure that we have the camera plugged in. Now, you can bring in the camera two different ways at this point. You can bring it in over NDI, and I'll show you that really quickly. You can type in NDI into uh, the, as a video source, and then... All these different cameras will come up as different sources. Um, now, you're not seeing all of that. You see some of it here. I'll pick one really quickly. Boop. And now that is our source. And we can go down here and show that if we want to. Uh, there's our NDI camera. I'm going to be using a camera with uh, just a regular HDMI to USB capture card. But you want to obviously bring in the camera. And we put that on this uh, placer layer here. And uh, we'll be showing that in just a moment. Now the next thing is we add our PTZ Optics controller. And this allows us to control the camera. As you can see here, we can actually go right in zoom in and out um, and control the PTZ Optics camera. So how do we do that? Well, we went to the plus in the layer stack and we typed in PTZ Optics and up comes the PTZ Optics controller. So we go, we actually have the ability to have up to, it looks like eight presets here. I thought that was 10, but I'm seeing eight here. Um, we choose our camera source and then we type in the IP address of the camera. You see, I've already done that. 192.168.1.67. And now what I'll do just really quickly is I'm going to save a few presets. So I actually wanted to set up a cool little um, demonstration here for those people watching on YouTube or Facebook. So one is going to be Legos. Let's see if I can get this in right. All right, cool. So this we'll call this our Lego shot. Got our Lego men in view. All right, that's good. So we'll save that as number one, and I'm going to name it Lego. And let's do a couple more really quickly. I'll only do let's say two. All right. We've got the new book. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Just give it a little bit better view. All right, so we'll call that the book. Just go up a little more. There we go. All right, so we'll set that as number two. We'll just do two presets for this. And we're going to go ahead and name it book. Now, when we go ahead and hit recall, it goes right to the Lego men. When we hit book, it goes right to the book. So that's what we're going to set up so that when people type in book, into YouTube live, they'll actually see it go to the book. When they type in Lego, they'll see it go to Lego. So if you have a store or if you have a you know studio or something, you want people to be able to go see something, they, they, can, they can type that in. So that is really nice. And we're gonna be able to set up, I believe, delays as well so that the camera's not moving around too quickly, but I have to talk to Mimo Live about that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna add is our now this is a new layer i believe it's in beta it's coming out soon it's called ptz comments so you can see we've got this ptz comments layer that popped up and uh one of the things you have to do is you do need to authenticate into facebook 
and YouTube for this to work, and you need to use the stream now function in the output destination. So we'll show that in a little bit. So we're going to choose PTZ Optics as the camera vendor. We're going to type in the IP address as 192.168.1.67. And the username and password is admin admin. And see these recall commit, uh, positions? Yeah, so you can have 10 of them. This is where we're going to go ahead and just type that in. Lego and book. And there's another one if we'd like. So that's what they type in. And it will actually go to those positions when they type that in. And honestly, it's actually as easy as that. Now we're done. All we have to do is start streaming to YouTube, which I'll show you in a moment. And we'll be all set for setting this up. Okay, so as you can see, I have YouTube pulled up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit start streaming. There we go. Start show on Mimo Live. Now let me show you what it looks like on for this. Here we go. We're live. You can see stream health. There it is popping up there. Now what we'll do, so I want to show really quickly before we get into too much, uh, the advanced settings of YouTube. You can see here we have, it's the ultra low latency was set on this already. So that should be all set. We're good to go. Um, I made sure to do that before we started. Now let's go to the stream and see if this works. All right, so let's go ahead and type in book. Let's see if she moves to book. Boom. Okay, let's type in Darth. It should go to Darth Vader. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, let me just check something. Studio one, studio two. Right. I, had, I had something messed up on my side, but I type in Darth. And it should go to Darth. Now, I'm not sure... If this is 100% the lowest latency possible, but it seems to be working pretty good. Studio one. Five, six, seven, eight. I mean, it's not too bad on the latency. Um, but thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. You can learn more about PTZ Optics and Mimo Live in the links below in the description. We're going to have a complete guide on how to do all of this in the links below at ptzoptics.com slash Mimo Live. And uh, you can learn more. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're always bringing new tips, tricks, and tutorials for making the most out of your PTZ camera and your video production, but also a lot of great tips that can help your small business or large business using um, video production, video conferencing, and some of this great new remote robotic camera technology coming out today. Thanks a lot, and don't forget to subscribe.